let's start with this quote logic is the foundation of the certainty of all the knowledge we acquire leonard euler so we want to solve 2012 2013 of british mathematical olympiad bmo round one problem number three so it says what it says Find all real numbers x, y, and z, which satisfy the simultaneous equations. The x squared minus 4y plus 7 equal to 0. y squared minus 6z plus 14 equal to 0. x, z squared minus 2x minus 7 equal to 0. Now we want to work on this problem. Before solving the problem, thanks for subscribing, turning on notification, and like my videos. And... Uh, we want to solve this problem with one of the most basic and also useful idea. The idea is what? Before solving the problem, let me tell you a hint because maybe you can pause the video and solve it by yourself. If you have something, for example, some variables, for example, three variables, four variables, a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus d squared equal to zero in real numbers, what can we conclude? We can conclude a equal to b equal to c equal to d equal to zero. Why? Because all of them are greater than equal zero. If one of them be positive, so we need some negative number to cancel that. But we don't have any negative numbers, so all of them should be equal to zero. Now we want to use this rule, important rule here. We have x squared, negative 4y. So if we had negative 4x, it was better. We can we could change it to something squared and use this. So what can we do here? I have x squared here, but negative 2x is in this equation. So if I add these two things, but I have z squared here, and negative 6z is here. So one thing that is good is to add all these three terms. So if I add all these three terms, let me write with yellow, it will be x squared. Let me write negative 2x here, plus y squared negative 2y, negative 4y. This part, so I've written this one, this one, y squared negative 4y, plus z squared minus 6z, plus 7 minus 7, 0, plus 14, equal to 0. Now, I want to change to some perfect square here i need what i say okay i can write x minus one squared but it creates what this part x squared minus two x plus one but here we don't have plus one so i write negative one now it is exactly this part. let's focus on next part plus y can you tell me here what is squared y minus two squared then we can create y squared negative 4y, but we have one term that is extra, plus 4. We should cancel that. So I write what? Negative 4. Now this term equal to exactly y squared minus 4y. Now the next part. I have z squared minus 6z, so I should write what? z to create z squared and negative 6z. z minus 3 squared. And here we have z squared minus 6z plus 9. Why? I use this identity. a plus b squared is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. I focus on these two parts to create z squared minus 6z because 2ab here will be negative 6z. But we have plus what? Plus 3 squared, 9. So I should write negative 9 to cancel that. And plus 14 here equal to zero. Now, here, negative one, negative four, negative five, negative five, negative nine, negative 14. So I can cancel these three terms with this plus 14. Now we've reached the thing that we wanted. X minus one squared plus Y minus two squared plus Z minus three squared equal to zero. So because each of them are perfect square, each part is greater than equal zero. So what can we conclude? Each of them should be zero. So x minus one should be zero. Y minus two should be zero. And z minus three should be zero. From first one, we conclude x equal to one. From second one, we conclude y equal to two. From third one, we conclude 
z equal to 3. We've solved this problem. I want to tell you a homework. Exactly, you can solve it with this idea. The homework is this. And the problem is for what? This problem is for uh, also math. It is a summer camp, like for example, SUMAC. It is for Stanford. SUMAC, Promise, and Rose are more prestigious than awesome, but because the idea it is for 2022, it is for a summer camp in USA. But because it's also a good problem, the idea the idea is so much useful also in AMC American Mathematics Competition, Amy also in next rounds in some part of them, USAMO, BMO for British Mathematical Olympia, this part that you reach some of some squares, some of them equal to zero. You can solve it exactly with that idea. Try to solve this and uh, if you found the answer, the answer x, you should find x, y, z, and w. Let me change it. You should find x, y, z, and w. Then comment your answer below this video. And if you had any question, there are around, I can say, 20 important formula or ideas in function problems, identities, polynomials, inequalities, for example, homogenization, and some other ideas also in geometry you have around 50 important formulas if you want to learn them as i said before feel free to send message to my whatsapp number in the description also thanks for subscribing turning on notification like my video so try to focus on this problem and solve it with the ideas that we've worked on here you can also use my playlist about bmo british mathematical olympiad for america for summer camps harvard mit Stanford Math Tournament and you can improve your problem solving by watching those videos.